Charro, churro, churrito, que okay, igual. Okay. Teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay, and you? Doing well, in my case. Thank you. Can't complain. Well, ready for today. This is our class number 14. And I'm going to start passing the tennis, right? Please help me out. Say present as soon as you listen to your names, right? Please. All right, mm. uh, let's begin. Alba? Present teacher. Okay. Really? Present teacher. Yeah, and I know. Present teacher. Oh, I see you. Very good. And Stephanie? Present. Your sister? And here, teacher. Okay, Elvis? Present teacher. Thanks, Emerson? Present teacher. Here, Gabriela? Present teacher. Thanks, Emerson? Present teacher. Here. Glenda? Present teacher. Thanks. Jose? 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 I'm here. Karen? Present. Kenya? Thank you. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Lisbeth? Present. Thanks, Marco? Present. Good, Nancy? Present teacher. Yeah, Oscar. Present. Ovidio. Present teacher. Sandra. Present. Sonia. Present teacher. Good job. Let's see. Wilson. Wilson and Jenny. Present teacher. Good job. Thank you so much. Well, um, thank you. Well, we're going to start. Um, just give me a second, guys. Un segundito. Solo. Cito. Revisar algo. Quiere aprender inglés también la niña Elvis. Sí, eso le estoy enseñando ahí. <risa> Le estoy, se la, la estoy presentando a todos mis compañeros. No la estás presumiendo. Ok. <risa> Está bien. Nancy, estás haciendo manualidades. No, a Lely le acaban de regalar unas cositas a la niña y se las estoy abriendo. Mira. Ay, qué bonito. Ay, sí, maqui uh. Maquillajes, hasta con lentes. <risa> Más coqueta. Está de cumple la niña. No, el niño, pero siempre le dan a ella también. Ah, ok. Para que no se enoje, si no, Dios guarda. Sí, Happy enoja. birthday. Gracias. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is today? Whose birthday? Sound it, Nancy. Nancy's, Nancy's birthday? No, sound it, Nancy. Oh, your son's, oh, your son's birthday. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's the son. Oh, happy birthday yes. to him. Thanks. Happy birthday to him, yeah. 
Congratulations. Uh, well, let's start. Sorry. Sorry for the inconvenience. Bueno, vi por acá alguien, a uh, participantes que se quedó en ir. Déjame verificar. Deje un ratito esa imagen de asistencia, Tich. <risa> ese es el control que yo llevo. Por acá lo llevo. Llevo el control. Es que... Hay unos invictos ahí. <risa> Bueno, creo que somos todos ¿verdad? los que mencioné. No sé si alguien más llegado a leer. No. Ok. Bueno, eh, lo primero, ustedes saben, <ríe> la plataforma. Um, okay. Por favor, eh, los últimos recordatorios, ¿verdad? Uh, hay que completar, ¿verdad? La plataforma. Eh, se sigue actualizando, ya la mayoría ha terminado. Eh, un, algunos participantes, ¿verdad? Están pendientes, pero ya son pocos. Es que la invitación, nuevamente, ¿verdad? Eh, se les estuvo pasado siempre, ¿verdad? Recordando en cada clase, ¿verdad? ha sido bien repetitivo, así que la dificultad del caso, pero hay que insistir, ¿verdad? Hay que pedirles el favor que puedan completar la dificultad del caso, sí, ha sido muy repetitivo, pero, ¿verdad? Ese es mi, mi trabajo. Eh, poder facilitarles el contenido y claro recordarles siempre las actividades que hay que hacer y eh, más bueno se les estuvo también verdad se les ha estado eh, recordando de parte de los operativos las actualidades ahora por ejemplo se les recordó también por, por WhatsApp eh, así es que hay que seguir si nos hace falta ya lo último de la sección 5 eh, el examen final por favor les invito a que podamos eh, Hacer todo eso, ¿verdad? En esos días, entre ahora y mañana, en ese último día. ¿Listo? En ese último día para completar todo. Todo debe ser completo mañana. Es las cinco secciones y el, el examen final. Eso sería lo último. Ya estamos a tres días contando eso, ¿verdad? De finalizar. Es que no sé si hay una duda, alguna pregunta que tengan, comentario. General. Oh, por cierto, estuve investigando, hice la consulta de lo que me preguntaban ayer, de los certificados, y les tengo lo siguiente. Los certificados se comparten de forma digital, por medio del correo, y en físico. Son las dos, esas dos opciones. Y antes que me pregunten, pero ¿por qué mis compañeros lo obtienen eh, desde la plataforma? Les explico lo siguiente. Hay, hay diferentes programas en inglés cooperativo. Hay programas que son, ¿verdad? Auspicia, eh, son, ese, en sí, en sí, ¿verdad? Eh, así lo sé, de Insafor, ¿verdad? Son programas diferentes. Bueno, es otro programa también de Insafor, ¿verdad? Pero eh, ese programa, ¿verdad? Es diferente. El programa que, que quiero, ¿verdad? Y ese programa también es parte de Insafor, ¿verdad? Pero es diferente. Entonces, hay programas diferentes y esos programas son los que posiblemente obtienen su certificado, su diploma desde la plataforma. Así es que eso es en la explicación que les tengo, ¿verdad? Eh, según lo que se me informó. Y no se preocupen, se van a recibir el, el certificado de diploma eh, por correo y en físico. Como lo han recibido, eh, la disculpa del caso en, en, en ese para como sé quién fue que me preguntó o quién fue que me dijo que no había recibido se hace verdad la disculpa del caso si no lo recibió verdad eh, a tiempo o se tardó verdad si es que disculpa del caso a veces verdad tarda un poquito porque ¿verdad? hay muchos grupos y hay que verdad estar dando el seguimiento y enviarlos ¿verdad? a cada uno de ustedes pero para se le pasa a llegar lo antes posible. Así es que esa es la, la aclaración. 
Esta es la aclaración, ¿verdad? You're welcome. Esta es la aclaración de que hay programas diferentes. Entonces, esos programas ¿verdad? tienen a, a, a trabajar de otra forma y posiblemente ¿verdad? ellos reciben el certificado en, en la plataforma. Es que es en la aplicación. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, cualquier cosita, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden contactar, recuerden a una autoridad, el informativo. Posiblemente no reciban, ¿verdad? Eh, menciono lo siguiente no reciban la respuesta para luego. A veces están un poco ocupados. Eh, yo sé, ¿verdad? A veces posiblemente los dejan en, en uh, mensajes de leen, ¿verdad? Pero no, no lo responden. Ahí les, lo que les podría, ¿verdad? Recomendar es insistir, ¿verdad? Insistir, ¿verdad? Para que puedan tener la respuesta. A veces, a veces, eh, repito, ¿verdad? a veces están bien ocupados y posiblemente en su mensaje, pero ¿verdad? en ese momento le iban a responder y tienen otra cosita que hacer, entonces se desentiende. Eh, pero insistamos, insistamos, ¿verdad? Claro, tranquilos, para tener respuesta. Así que, cualquier cosa, estamos ahí a la orden, como que se puede ayudar. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Bueno, eso sería básicamente, ¿verdad? Lo que quiero comentar primero. Recuerden que hace jueves finalizamos el curso, el módulo. Y bueno, ahí vamos a estar a la espera de vacación. Esperamos que pronto iniciar. Mientras tanto, hay que ¿verdad? practicar, seguir practicando y, claro, descansar también. Descansar durante la vacación. Disfrutar. Claro, sanamente. Sanamente. Y la próxima semana, go to Gabi. Go to Gabi. Uh, <ríe> ah. Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Ok, ya. Yeah. Do it, do it. <ríe> Do it, do it. Tengo solo que, pero hay que tener cuidado. Tener cuidado. Eh, la, las playas se llenan mucho. ¿verdad? PlayStation. <ríe> eh, pero sí, ¿verdad? hay que disfrutar. Me esa, me esa, me esa. Y descanso. <ríe> ok, bueno, no sé si hay más dudas, preguntas. No. no question, no question. Excelente. Vamos acá entonces. Uh, the topic simple present all these questions. Class number 14. Today is Tuesday, April 5th. Well, we continue with the simple present and we're going to focus on all these questions. Right? So start. This is the way you construct questions, right? A simple present. Uh, we have the questions. So the questions, and these are the responses, right? The responses. Okay. Uh, for example, questions like what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Who? Do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Right? Who? With some friends. Next, where do you play? Play at Hunter Park. Where? A place, right? At Hunter Park. How often do you practice? You practice, listen to the question. How often do you practice? Practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. Practice on Sundays. And the last example says, what time do you start? What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right. So that is the way you ask questions. Right? You ask questions in a simple present. And every question has a purpose. Every question has a purpose. What we need to do is to listen to the question, analyze it, then answer, right? Answer. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? Llegar cuidadosamente la pregunta. Saber lo que se nos está preguntando. Analizarlo, ¿verdad? Papelito. Y luego responder. Okay. Uh, this is the way we structure right, the, the questions. This is the formula that we follow. 
have a WH word. We use auxiliary verbs. Does. Or does. A subject. Plus verb in base form. The verb is always in base form. And the complement. With the question mark. Don't forget the question mark. It's a question. Okay. For example, what sports, what sports does your brother play? What sports does your brother play? Right? Before we answer, I would like to know, guys. Oh, let me write the structure again. W is for as or does a subject. Plus verb and complement and the question mark. Okay, the first thing that we use in a question is a WH word. What WH words do you remember, guys? What WH words do you know? Uh, what? What? Where? Where? Who? Who? When? Which? Which? What time? What time? How often, for example? Said, right? Those are WH words. Every WH word has a purpose, right? Every WH word has a purpose. Okay? Uh, what? What is the purpose of what? Cada una de esas palabras tiene un propósito. What is the purpose of what? Yes, what is the action? Exactly, we ask for an action, right? Activities, things, right? That is the purpose. Where? where? Sorry. Where? Place. It's a place. A place, a place exactly. We say, right, say, at a supermarket, at the park, right? School, at home, etc. right? Who? People? Person. Or people or person. It's okay. People. Person or people in general, right? Okay. When? Time. For time, right? In general, time, we can say days, months, same Saturday, in December, eh, on Sunday, on weekends, etc. right? Which? Which? Uh, for options. For options, yeah. Options or choices, right? Options or choices. Uh, what time? Tiempo. Time. Yeah, time. What time? In this case, when we say what time, we give, we give right, hours. Hours, minutes, hours. et cetera. Yeah. Okay. And how often? The frequency. Frequency. Frequency, yeah, the frequency of the activities, very good. Those are the purposes of the questions. That is something that you have to know, right? The, that is the key. It's an clave, so we look for positive de cada una de palabras. For example, what is sports does your brother play? Okay, I can answer my brother plays. He plays soccer and basketball. What is sports? Soccer and basketball. That is the answer, okay? So we ask for things, right? For sports specifically. Esa está preguntando acerca de deportes. Things. Okay. But does, what does sports does your brother play? He plays soccer and basketball. And the other possibility is that this one. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. But what about if I ask you? Let me see. Uh, I want to listen to. Um, Emerson, what is what is sports do you play, Emerson? What is sports do you play? I play soccer and go swimming. Oh, okay. You can say I play soccer and go swimming. I play soccer and go swimming. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see. Lisbeth, what, what is sports do you play? 
I play soccer and basketball. Basketball, okay. What about if I ask, let me see, Marco. Marco, do you have brothers? Uh, no, a sister. Sister, okay. What sports does your, does your sister play? She plays? She plays football. Football, okay. 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 Nancy, do you have brothers or sisters? Brother. Brother? Yes. Ah, okay. What is first that your brother played, Nancy? Uh, he plays soccer. He plays soccer, okay. Good. Okay. Um, Sandra, do you have brothers or sisters? Sisters. Sisters, okay. What is first that your sister play? Does your sister play? One. She plays? She plays um basketball basketball okay yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that is the first you know question right what for actions activities things that is the purpose of what what about if i ask a different question but first i want to know if he has any doubts the question is that the second question Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question about the use of what? The use of what, sir? The use of the W WH word what for, for questions. Oh, what, okay. Okay, so we use what for get, to get more information about things or actions. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. With WH questions, with WH questions, guys, we get more information. Yeah. That's why this was like called like WH questions, or we can say information questions because we get more ideas. So we get long answers, right? Long answers. Long answers. So let's play amount of WH questions or information questions. Obtenemos más información. Yeah. Okay, another example, another question can be, listen again, analyze these ideas with these questions and answers. The same structure, right? The same structure. Now say, where does he play? Where does your brother play? Okay, my brother or he plays at the university, right? My brother, or he plays at the university. That is the way, right? Or where do you play? Where do you play sports? Where do you play? I play at Hunter Park, for example. I play at the park. Right? Where do you play? Let me see. It, where do you play sports? Elvis? I play. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Uh, please repeat the question. Yeah, where do where do you play? Where do you play sports? Uh, we play. Uh, I play. I play. I I play. I play in the school. A school, okay. A school. Very good. Thank you. Let me see. What do you say in English? Cancha. Oh, yeah, you can say if it is for soccer, you say soccer field. Soccer field. Soccer field. Because if it is for basketball, you say basketball court. It's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Uh, where do you play sports, Oscar? I play. Oscar? I so. Oscar is having some issues. Okay. Well, let me try with Josue. Josue, where do you play? Where do you play sports? I play 
if I play uh, in the, what you say, what you say, piscina. Ah, okay, in the swimming pool. I play in the swimming pool. In the swimming. In the swimming pool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. In the swimming pool. Yeah. I okay. play in the swimming. In the swimming pool. Exactly. This is a place, right? Swimming pool. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Adelie, do you have brothers or sisters? And sister, but teacher. Okay. Where does your sister play, Tammy? No, she's not. Uh, practice the uh, sport. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, what about you? What do you play sports? I play. Um, I play um in the university. Okay. Yeah, okay. you play at the university. Okay. Let me try with somebody else. Um, Wilson. Or do you play sports, Wilson? I play basketball and I go boxing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Listen to the question. Where does I mean? Where do you play? Where do you play sports, Wilson? We're asking for the place. Ah, uh, the place. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um. um I play at the high school. Okay, I play at high school. I play at, at high school. school. At high school, right. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Well, this is another sure. question. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, can I say, can I say I, I play uh, under rain. So I play, uh, for example, Malka, uh, ah. can I say, uh, for example, can I say, uh, I play, I play soccer under rain. Okay, yeah, I, I got I, you. I got you. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You got it. But in that you case, yeah, I got it. Uh, but in, the, in that case, the, the question would be different. Okay. The would be different. Um, Listen. Yeah, the question it can be like... like... <laughs> Winter. <laughs> it can be like, when do you play soccer? I mean, maybe you can say, right, play soccer uh, when it's raining. Like... It can be right. Okay. Play soccer when it's raining. Yeah. But the question is different. When? When is raining? When is raining? Right. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. Yeah. You. You're welcome. Well, any questions right here? Questions? Preguntas acá? What's different or the words at or in? Ah, okay. Place. Yeah, uh, when you say at, I mean, they tend to be similar, right? You can use both, at or in. Uh, when you say at, it's because you are at the location, right? At the location. And when you say in, it's because, you know, you are inside of a, of a place. Right, for example, if someone is asking for you, right? Well, where are you? I am at the supermarket, right? You are not inside. You are at the supermarket, right? Outside, right? Specifically, that is your location. This is your location. In is inside the place. For example, again, the question, right? What are you? What are you doing? Well, I am in the supermarket. I'm buying some products, right? That is the difference. At significa acaba la ubicación, ¿verdad? Donde está alguien. In ya es, claro, una ubicación también, pero está dentro del lugar. That is the difference. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, questions about this? About the questions? Preguntas acerca de esas formas? Preguntas? Preguntas? No? 
another question. Who does he play with? Who does your brother play with? You can say, right, my brother or he plays with some friends. We're asking for people, right? Who does he play with? My brother or he plays with some friends, right? Some friends. Uh, the question can be right in, 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 in this way for you guys, who do you play baseball with or who do you play sports with? You can be specific or you can be in general, right? Podemos ser específicos, podemos ser en general. Expresar uh, las ideas en general. Who do you play sports with? Es general, ¿verdad? Si es específico, who do you play baseball with? Or who do you play soccer with? Right? You say, okay, I play with my friends. I play with my family. I play with my sister. I play with my brother. I play with Carlos. I play with... Uh, Karen, we're asking for people, right? For people. For example, let me select some people. Um, Harrison, who do you play sports with? Who do you play sports with? Play with? Harrison, who do you play sports with? Solo esa palabra, teacher, la de with, no sé qué significa. Ah, okay. Eh, when you say, who do you, uh -huh. who do you play sports with? Right? I'm saying, okay, I play sports with my brother with my uh, brother okay yeah very good yeah who do you play sports with person i play with uh, my brother yeah yeah excellent um Anadinona, who do you play sports with Who do you play sports with? Like Nora? Like Nora, can you hear me? Like Nora? Hello? Switch it? Lo que tienes mi micrófono encendido, pero no lo escucho. Well, if you have any issues with the microphone, you can help me in the chat, please. Tienen problemas con el micrófono, me pueden dar en el chat. Las respuestas, no se preocupen. Caso tengan dificultad ahorita, porque no lo escucho. Es, creo su micrófono encendido, pero no lo escucho. Pero. No, aquí no lo encendido. No lo escucho, no sé si tiene problemas con el micrófono. Hey, Ovidio, I think you want to participate. Who do you play sports with? I play with my father. Your father, good. Good. Let me try with somebody else. Hey, Gabriela. Gabriela, do you, do you have brothers or sisters? Did you have brothers or sisters, Gabriela? Sería, I, I play? Listen to the question, Gabriela. Listen to the question, Gabriela. Do you have brothers or sisters? Uh, my, my sister. Um, prestemos, prestemos atención a la pregunta. Yes, yes. One, one sister y okay. one brother. Ah, okay, good, good. Now let me ask you about your brother, Gabriela. About your brother. Who does your brother play with? He plays Who, with? He, he plays with uh, so, white? With. Uh, with. 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 Okay. 
He plays with. He plays with uh, some soccer uh, friends. Él hmm. juega fútbol con los amigos. Ah, okay. He plays soccer with some friends. Ready? Listen. He plays. He plays soccer, soccer with, with some friends. Some some friends. That's right. That's right. Okay. That is way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let me talk with somebody else. Uh, Jose. Do you have brothers and sisters? I have one brother. One brother, okay. Who does your brother play with? He plays with some friends. Some friends, okay, good. Okay. So who? We ask for people, right? For people. That is the purpose. Es ese propósito de preguntar acerca de personas. Okay? Question. Preguntas hasta acá. And no teacher. No. Para saber de los demás, hay preguntas, alguien que tenga dudas. Espera. No questions. No. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me give you another example. Another kind of question, right? Uh, we have, when does he practice? When does he practice? Right? When? What is the purpose of when? What is the purpose of when? To talk about the time. Yeah, we talk about the time, right? We express days, months, years, etc. right? I can say, right? When do you practice? I practice on weekends. I practice on Saturdays. If you want to be more specific, when do you practice soccer, for example? I practice soccer on Sundays. I want to be more specific, right? Most specificos, when do you practice soccer? But I can say, I practice soccer on Saturdays. Right, so I said, I said when, right? When? On Saturdays, that is the answer. When do you practice soccer? I play, I practice soccer on Saturdays. When is for time, right? Does your, your, your brother practice? Does your brother practice? He practices on weekends. He practices on weekends, right? That's way. Uh, Glenda. Uh, tell me, when do you practice sports? I practice. I practice baseball on Sunday. On Sunday, okay. Repeat again, Glenda. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday, exactly. Good. Yeah. Uh, Karen. When do you practice basketball? I practice basketball on Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah. Repeat again, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. That's right. Okay. okay. Let's listen to um uh, Cesar. Cesar, when do you practice soccer, Cesar? I no practice soccer. Ah, okay. Uh, I sport. Sorry, oops. I sport that you practice, Cesar. Uh, I am practicing basketball. Oh, basketball, okay. When do you practice basketball, Cesar? I, I practice back, basketball on Saturday. On Saturdays, okay? Saturdays. Nice. Okay. 
It, when is for time, guys? When is for time, right? This is a way. And then we have other examples where right? we how often, for example, how often do you practice sports? Or how often do you practice soccer, for example? How often do you practice, let's say, what? Basketball, let's say. And I will say, I, I usually I will say practice basketball. Or I can say, I can say, I practice basketball twice a week, twice a week. The two options, the two responses are correct. How often do you practice basketball? I usually practice basketball. Okay. How often do you practice basketball? I practice basketball twice a week. Okay. So in this case, we ask for the frequency of activities. I usually and twice a week. Twice a week. Those are the responses, right? Okay. Any questions? Preguntas? And what time is similar to when, right? What what time we tend to give hours, right? Hours. What time do you start a for example? What time do you start practicing or playing soccer, right? You say, okay, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning, right? That is uh, the answer. We tend to give, right, a uh, complete hours. Complete hours. En ese caso, con what time tenemos, tendemos a dar, verdad, respuestas en cuanto a la hora. That is the way. Well, any questions, everybody? Preguntas, estamos muy bien hasta el momento. It's okay. Alice, all right. Nice. Okay, uh, now I need you to practice, right? I need you to practice with some questions. Um, let me see, what else? Okay, let's go with the questions. So I need you to complete the following questions, right? Complete the conversation with questions and then compare with the class, right? Class. What do you have to do? Listen, uh, we have here a conversation. A, B, A, B, A, B, right? A B, A B, A B. Someone else. Letters, right? In A, we have questions, only questions. In B, we have answers. As you can see, we have only answers, right? Answers. You have to pay attention to the answer, right? You have to analyze every response. And based on the answer, you have to construct the question, right? That's what you have to do. Hay que prestar atención a las respuestas y con base en las respuestas vamos a construir esa pregunta, right? For example, number one is given. It, it says, the answer, listen to the answer. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. But what could be the, what can be the possible question? Sorry, what can be the possible question? Ah, okay, the question can be like, what sports do you like? I'm asking for, you know, things, right? Actions, activities. I need to use what? What sports do you like? That is the way. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Okay, the question is, what sports do you like? That is the first one. And that's what you have to do with the other ones. You need to read all the responses. And with the answer, you have to construct the question. We have the, the, the answers like, I usually play with my sister and some friends. That's number two, right? Number three says we practice on Saturdays. Number four says we, we start at about noon. We start at about noon. And the last one says we usually play in our jar, but sometimes we play at the beach. You have to pay attention to some keywords, some keywords. 
Hay que prestar atención a las respuestas y a posibles palabras claves. Okay? That's what you have to do. So I will ask you to complete this exercise in your notebooks. Please consider the questions based on the answers. Okay? Vamos a completar. Uh, construir las preguntas con base en las respuestas. Okay? Questions about activity? Eh, no sé si está claro la actividad. Yes, teacher. So, solo vamos a ocupar las, los complementos que nos acaba de demostrar, ¿no? Los que estaban en el WH. Yeah, you, have to, you have to make the question. Okay. You have to make the question. Yeah. Okay. You have the you have the answers. Now you have to make the questions, right? We need to do the opposite, like I said, the opposite. Tenemos que hacer lo opuesto. For example, let me give an example before we start. If I say, listen. Um, I'll say my sister place, volleyball, at the beach. What is the question? Analyze it, analyze it with the, the answer. What is the answer? My sister plays volleyball at the beach. I need you to make a question. Where does play your sister? Is this, okay? Good. That is the question. Just one observation. Remember that you have to place the subject uh, before the verb. What happens? <laughs> Okay, that is it. That is a question, but you remember that you have to use the dollish, the, the subject, sorry, before the sub, the verb. According to the structure, right? According to the structure, we have to use, oops, we have to use a dollish word, word does, subject, the verb, and the complement. So the question is, where does your sister play? Adivish. That is the answer. That's what you have to do. You need to consider the question. Make the question. Make the question. Based on the answer. This is the question. This is the question. And this is the answer. Right? But you have to do the opposite, right? The opposite. Ahora tenemos que hacer lo opuesto. Tenemos la respuesta. Ahora hay que construir la pregunta. Okay? I will give you some time. Let's do this in your notebooks. Right now, please. Preguntas. Si estamos claros con la actividad. Okay. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's start with the questions, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you. If you have some questions, let me know. I'm here, right? I'm here.
already. Thank you. Going to start in three minutes. Going to get the the the, the question. Sorry. Hmm. What's this? Yeah, we're going to start in three minutes. In three minutes. La primera. Give me a second. Give me a second. We must finish in three minutes. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Very good. You. The first one is the example, right? That was the example. Uh, the answer says, I like a lot of the sports, but I really love volleyball. And the question is, what sports do you like, right? Based on the answer, based on the answer, that is the question. What sports do you like? Ah, okay, I like a lot of the sports, but I really love volleyball, okay? So, so yeah, number two. It says, I usually play with my sister and some friends. What is the question? Uh, who do you play with? Bingo. Who do you play with? Yes. Very good. With. Yes. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Good. That is the, the answer. Okay. That is the answer, right? Good. Okay, number three, somebody else? Number three says, we practice on Saturdays. Other participant? Yo. Ah, okay, me. <laughs> <Adelie. laughs> me? <laughs> when do you, we practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? Uh -huh. do you practice? Exactly. Hmm. We practice on Saturdays. Practice on why, why Saturdays. Why do you practice? Um, no sería when do we practice? Porque estamos hablando de ello. Uh, that's, uh, a good question. that's a good question. Uh, okay. When do... Listen, listen, listen. When I say, when I say, uh, when do you practice? And you say, okay, so why do you? If we're talking about we. Yeah, good question. Uh, you can say, when do you practice, right? And you can answer, we, we. When you say like this, or you answer like that, when you have a group, right? For example, imagine that our class, right? Imaginemos que soy, estamos hablando del eh, grupo, ¿verdad? Ustedes y yo, me incluyo, ¿verdad? Okay. Y alguien, alguien más nos pregunta. Somos un equipo, ¿verdad? Nos preguntan. When do you practice soccer, guys? We are 24 right now, right? 24. Yeah, 24. Someone asked you, right? Someone asked us. 
when do you practice it's soccer for example ah, okay yes we, we practice yes. on saturdays guys we practice on saturday so okay. uh, como lo estábamos preguntando anteriormente con quién lo practicaba y ella decía que con su hermana y con sus amigos entonces por eso lo asoció con when do we practice we we uh -huh. Uh -huh. no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Eh, le, le entiendo, le entiendo. Esa es otra forma. No es correcto. Eh, when do we? It no depends. es correcto. It depends on the context. If we ask in the group, if someone asks in the group, yes. Okay. Imagine, imagine that Emerson asks a question, right? Eh, guys, yeah. Emerson said, right? When do we practice? Yes. We practice on Saturday, guys. Practice on Saturdays. Todos respondemos, ¿verdad? O, o dos o tres personas responden, ¿verdad? El grupo. Yeah. Ahí sí. Okay. When do we practice? Todo puede tener esas dos formas, ¿verdad? Pero dos formas son correctas. When ok, practice, ambas son correctas. And when do we practice, yes. Va a depender del okay. contexto. Ok. Ok. Eh, four. Karen. We'll start at about noon. Uh, what time do you start? Bingo. Good. Uh, do we start? Very good. Or you can say, do you, right? What time do you? It's okay. We start about noon. And the last one, Sandra. We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you usually play? Ice. Where do you usually play? Play, we usually play? In our yard? What is the answer? Uh, in our yard. Yeah. Sometimes we play at the beach. Sometimes we play at the beach. Pretty good. These are the responses, guys. Who do you play with? Uh, you should play with my sister and friends. These are the responses, right? Number three. When do you or we practice? We practice on Saturdays. When? On Saturdays. What time did we start? What do you start? We start at, at about noon. What time? At about noon. Where do you usually play? Where? In our jar, but sometimes at the beach. Okay. Those are the responses. Questions about it? Preguntas, dudas acerca de el tema. No, no. Ok. Eh, listen up. Les voy a asignar una um, actividad extra. Esa para que ustedes practiquen. Déjenme ver si la tengo por acá. Se las enviaré. Es un, es una, son unos ejercicios en línea. Primer link para que ustedes practiquen con las preguntas. Les voy a explicar qué tienen que hacer. Permítanme. Um. Okay. Bueno, esto es lo que tienes que hacer. Vamos a ingresar a la página. Al link que les voy a enviar. Que vamos a completar. Eh, tiene tres partes. Que se van a dar gusto. Los ejercicios. Eh, letter A. Change the following sentences to questions beginning with the given question word. Acá es más fácil, ¿verdad? Porque les dan ella la W's word. Where, what time, what time, what, etc. You have to reduce the answers. These are the answers. Esas son las ¿vale? Esas son las respuestas. Acá tenemos que construir la pregunta. Lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Okay? We have 11. 
Letter B, you have to supply do or does to complete the following present tense questions. So you have to use your do or does. ¿Acaso tenemos que seleccionar do or does, la auxiliar? Do or does. We have 10, right? 10 exercises, 10 questions. And the last one, C, you have to choose the best knowledge word. Acá tenemos que seleccionar la, el, la palabra correcta, the WS word. Igual son de seleccionar, what, where, how, who. Acá tenemos opciones múltiples. Hay que prestar atención a las respuestas. Pasta and cheese, cigarettes, cards, etc. Y según la respuesta, vamos a construir la pregunta, right? En la primera parte, sí hay que escribir, ¿verdad? Les recomiendo que, por ejemplo, escribamos de esa forma, ¿verdad? No utilicemos mayúscula, porque si la utilizan, probablemente la tomen como mal. Como hemos visto en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, por darles un ejemplo, ¿verdad? No, no es esa la, la respuesta, la pregunta, ¿verdad? What do you play? Entonces, no hay que darle espacio al final, porque probablemente lo tome como mal. Entonces, es que demos, sigamos, o avancemos a la siguiente casilla. Eso sería, eh, al final, los sea, tienen que dar done. Where do you y, from, Ray? Perdón. Where do you from? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, they live in Brooklyn. Where do they live? Sorry. Where do they live? They live in Brooklyn. Es la respuesta. Es la primera. Where do they live? Avanzamos a la siguiente y seguimos. La segunda, ¿cuál es? I can't. I can't. I don't know the question. Sorry. No sé la respuesta. Lo siento. No, la idea es que ustedes practiquen. Pero si deciden que le doy otro ejemplo, digan, no tengo problema. Let me give you the second one. Just a second one. The lesson begins at 8 o'clock. What time does the lesson begin? Hmm. What time does the lesson begin? That is the answer. Ok. Hasta ahí. Lo demás sigue con ustedes. Quiero que practiquen. Preguntas acerca de eso. Eso sería lo último. Les voy a ver el link al grupo WhatsApp. ¿El link al grupo WhatsApp? Sí, ustedes o solo le dan clic y lo van a, a entrar a la, la, la página. Y si pueden enviar una captura, ¿verdad? Como evidencia, por WhatsApp, va a ser excelente. Es una práctica, ¿Para? una práctica para ustedes. Bueno, por el tiempo vamos a quedar hasta acá. ¿Preguntas? Sería ahora. Oh, eh, tómese el tiempo, mañana, ahora, mañana, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Ya, yeah. ok. Eh, ¿Questions? ¿Somebody else? No question, teacher. Okay. Okay, because... Other clear. Okay. O sea, Thank you. Esa página tiene más ejercicio, solo esas. Solo sí, ahí va. Hay... Bueno, déjeme ver. Mm, probablemente sí hay, hay más ejercicios. Si necesitan que más ejercicios, les puedo compartir una página. Bueno, una de cuántas, ¿verdad? Pero acá tengo unas páginas yo. Les voy a compartir los links. Es ok. Ya, yeah, les voy a compartir unos, unos links de unas páginas para que ustedes puedan ¿verdad? trabajar con más ejercicios. Hay otras páginas que son más completas en más ejercicios. Yo se los comparto. Si no, eh, bueno, le puedo compartir los links y le puedo dar la manera de explicarles, ¿verdad? O si no, mañana yo les explico en la clase. ¿verdad? Funciona. Ok, teacher. Yes. Ok, guys. Eh, because of the time, eh, we're going to start right here, right? Thank you so much. Please complete. Let's practice with the WS questions in a simple present. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Remember, complete the platform, please. The exercises are missing. And you know, enjoy your night. Blessings and See you tomorrow. peace. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you guys. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Blessings. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yes.